Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Cooler Master V10 Cooler. What's included with the V10 Cooler is the user's manual, all the materials needed for installation on the AMD and Intel motherboards including thermal compound. Here's the Intel Socket 1366 backplate and brackets, the Intel LGA775 backplate and the brackets, as well as the AMD bracket and the backplate. This cooler is extremely large and heavy, so when transporting the case, be careful, otherwise it might damage the motherboard and or the CPU. The heatsink is comprised of many aluminum fins that connect to tan heat pipes, which connect into a solid base. This solid copper base is extremely smooth, which allows excellent contact between it and the CPU. They also include a 70 watt thermal electric cooler, also known as a Piltier cooler. A thermal electric cooler is a solid state active heat pump that transfers heat from one side of the device to the other. One side is cold and the other is hot. The thermal electric cooler control unit is on top of the base and is only activated when the CPU reaches extreme temperatures, so it's not always consuming power. The actual thermal electric cooler is sandwiched between eight heat pipes, four on each side. The thermal electric cooler's cold side is on the bottom, so the heat pipes can transfer the cold to the base plate to cool the CPU. The thermoelectric cooler's hot side is at the top, so the heat pipes can transfer the heat to the fins and the fan can then blow the warm air outside the case. This cooler includes two 120 mm red LED fans. One fan is sandwiched between two sets of fins and positioned to blow the warm air from the cooler out the back of the case. The other fan is located on another group of fins. This fan also assists cool the CPU via the fins and the heat pipes, but also blows air over the memory. There are two connectors. This 4-pin power lead gets connected into the motherboard CPU fan header to power both 120mm fans, and the other is a power lead which gets connected into the power supply's Molex lead to power the thermoelectric cooler. There's no doubt about it, this is one massive cooler. Having so many fins, heat pipes, and a thermoelectric cooler is what makes it so large, but it also generates more than 200 watts of cooling power. Finally, have a listen to the fans at maximum speed. This cooler performs exceptionally well. As a matter of fact, it is as close as you're going to get to water cooling without going water cooling. So, if you are in the market for one of the very best CPU air coolers on the market, keep this one at the very top of your list. My only complaint though with this product is it covers up the memory slots on the motherboard. Now this is good for cooling the memory, but in some cases memory will not fit in there if it's tall. Also, removing and installing memory will be hindered by this cooler. But other than that, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.